Alright, how's it going? I haven't posted a video in a long time, but I've been playing this game, Democracy 3, and I've been enjoying it. It's pretty fun, so I thought I would uh, make a little video to like show it, show like what it's about or whatever. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do, and hopefully it uh, turns out okay. But we'll see. Right. I, I have played this game a couple times. Um, played as America, United States, United States of America, and played like maybe three times. And <laughs> I did not do good at all. Came back and played it again as UK, which I would recommend to like anyone new playing this game. A lot easier to balance things. But now that I've had like a successful run with the United Kingdom, I'm gonna try to go back to the United States and see how we do. Alright, I'm gonna keep everything as is and I'm gonna change this. Socialist Coalition. I don't even know what that is, but that's fine. Hurricanes, earthquake, quakes, I've never seen them. Um, I think a, a different, I think if you do a different country or nation, it has like different pre, pre, uh, presets or whatever. But you could change them however. I'm just going to keep them as is. Oh. Alright. <laughs> So this is like a little overview with the United States. And you know, this is all sort of in the opinion of uh, the developer. So you could play the game and um, see that he has like a certain uh, view or whatever. But uh, I would recommend to not try to, you know, don't get that out of your mind. And just don't think about too much. But um, the United States as it is, According to this game, the gross domestic product is poor health of the civilian, like all the citizens, poor crime is an issue that is uh, up there, not good. Poverty is, it's okay. Unemployment is not that great. Education's good. And here we have the main screen. <laughs> so basically I have like a web, all these white dots or policies, all the blue dots are, uh, are like the demographs of your nation, like various statistics, and then all the red ones are issues. They're separated into different sections. We have like transportation, we have foreign policy, welfare, economy, tax, uh, public service, and law and order. And if you hover over any one of these things, like all over, over uh, like this policy right here, which is the death penalty. And you could see from here, if you want, how it affects like the different things. So like the death penalty contributes to violent crime and the death penalty, uh... okay, okay, let me, um, rephrase this. If it has red, it's like decreasing that thing. If it has green, it's increasing. And that could be a little confusing, but the death penalty is having a negative impact on violent crime. So that's helping to get rid of violent crime. And it's also helping to get rid of this, uh, this issue, vigilante mobs. And um, it's having a negative impact on the liberals and it's having a positive impact on the Patriots or Conservatives. And just to focus on this middle section, this is like the whole population. Uh, the gray area behind is like the percent of people that have a viewpoint associated with that, that, uh, you know, that uh, classification. And then the bar, the colored bar is uh, 
like how they feel about you as a president, like running the country and putting policies into effect. So, like about half of the people are patriots and they have like a positive view of the the government, I guess. But like uh, parents have a really negative view of uh, how I'm doing so far. And that's strongly influenced by this asthma epidemic. You could see like the quicker the arrows are going, the more have a negative impact it's uh, influencing them. If I click on parents, I can get a, a better um, understanding of what's happening. So like, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of, a lot of menus and things to look at. Generally, uh, I don't know. I'm explaining too many things, maybe. But, alright, let's just go through and <laughs> see how it is. I don't, I don't, I feel weird talking a lot. But, uh, alright, here we go. Alright, so, okay, so, yeah, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I really, you know, it's good to really get rid of these red issues, but they could take a long time. Like this asthma epi epidemic, it would be great to get rid of it, but it just takes, it seems I've tried before and I've failed to like solve it within my term. And my term being the time up here at the top, like I'll have so many turns to uh okay 16 turns i have 16 turns to before there's an election and if, <laughs> if there's gonna be election like next turn i would definitely lose because my popularity this bar right here is like very very low so i am not in a good position try to turn it around and, uh, yeah, okay, so, what do I want to do? How much I could do is influenced by, these are like my influence points or whatever. Contributed by my cabinet, each provide like different amounts of influence. And they'll have an effect also with, uh, when I'm issuing new policies. They, uh, depending on their experience, they might be able to like, implement a policy faster or slower or whatever. Okay, too much too much talking. The only good thing I have going is this green one. These green things are like very uh, rare in my opinion. So like the United States as it is now we have a technological advantage and because of that uh, it's increasing our producti productivity and it's also decreasing our GDP and you know we're, we're getting this tech technical advantage due to the space program and this policy here creationism versus evolution which is a it's like a neutral policy both systems taught okay so, alright, yeah, okay, so negative issues, we have homelessness, we have pollution, we have uncompetitive economy, we have skills shortage, uh, drug addiction, asthma epidemic, we have antisocial behavior, which I think is alright. Vigilante mobs do the crime we have. Uh, internet crime, I believe, and uh, alcohol abuse. So, what what can we do? What can we get rid of? Uh, personally, I don't care about any of these people's opinions too much, since we're so new into the term. I also wanna. I like to get out of this debt like 
the United States starts with like this big debt. If we uh, look at the money charts, um, we could see where what was that three trillion dollars in debt, which is not good. Okay, and we could also come here again and look at where all of our money's going. So like, United States has a bunch of money going into the military. And the military, you know, all these things, pretty much all these policies have some kind of benefit and some kind of uh, deficit, or I don't, I don't know, some kind of benefit, some kind of uh, negative thing. So with good military spending, it's like helping to solve unemployment because it's red, it's decreasing the unemployment. So it's actually like giving people jobs. But right now it's at the maximum. And that's a lot of money we could be using elsewhere. So I'm gonna bring this down to, uh, if I bring it like way down here, <laughs> which um, would save tons of money, it would also have some uh, negative things going on. So I want to bring it to just well trained. We're saving like a hundred billion dollars by just decreasing this not too much. So I'm gonna apply this. It's gonna cost me because I'm lowering it. It's gonna cost me nine of my twenty six uh, influence points I can use this turn. And these um, points, they uh, they carry over, I believe, but um, you can only have so much. Uh, all right, so now we'll have more money coming in, which we'll see next year. Or actually, uh, if you look at the policy, it will tell you how long it takes for the policy to like take effect yeah right here delay eight turns so in eight turns we'll be making a lot more money no actually well i don't know am i i'm not sure i'm not i'm still kind of new to this i'm not sure if this will decrease the cost like immediately i don't know why i'm pointing at this if it will decrease the cost immediately and just affect these within eight turns or within eight turns it like scales it all down i'm not quite sure but we'll keep that change as is and uh we can use that money elsewhere i want to make more money if i could so if i come here i can look at the all the causes that affect the gdp could see like skills shortage is having the biggest negative impact so education is decreasing this which is good so we want these red ones immigration decreasing it which is good technology is contributing to it like uh you know people are relying on technology so that's what this is all about. Or no, <laughs> I guess I should uh, read the description here. Okay, so I guess this is um, people are not skilled or trained enough to run the tasks that are needed to them. Needed of them. Okay, maybe we'll come back to that. Um, alcohol. Alcohol abuse, it's costing us 46 billion per turn, which is uh, per three months, I guess. And we're getting alcohol abuse because of all the alcohol consumption. Now, a really great way, a great way to get rid of this, in my opinion, is um, if you come up here to this light bulb, it's where you could like add new policies. Under tax, there is this um, 
alcohol tax. And so, you know, we'll be making money off of all the people drinking. And if we increase it, like, way up, people are going to get mad, of course. <laughs> and for whatever reason, it also increases poverty, which is not good. But it also um, decreases people's uh, influence to, like, partake in, in alcohol. So they'll curb down their drinking very low and that's the one thing I like about this game you could like change all these people people's uh, like opinions like there's like about 40% of the people are motorists if we had a lot of policies that like work for like alternative transportation then the membership all the people that belong to the motorist uh, class or whatever they're gonna it's gonna decrease over time and they're not going to drive their cars, they're going to take a bus or telecommute or something. And that will help with some things and, you know, of course, will have opposite effect with other things. But generally, it's you know, good to be, get people not driving. Okay, I only have seven points, I can't really do much, so I'm just going to end this turn. <laughs>